Hello everyone and welcome to the UDK Basics tutorial part 3. In this tutorial we're going to be talking about animation, camera and enemy AI. To start off we're going to start with the animation. In the last episode we learned that triggers can be used to function and add music. We also learned that triggers can be used to enter announcements. To start off we're going to begin with learning animation. So the first thing we're going to do is trying to use this trigger in order to open this door. To do that, go to Kismet, make a new event using trigger zero, and we're going to use on used. Then make sure that you select the door and convert it to interrupt actor. In this case I don't have this because I already did it. If you have more, any problems with doing that you can always go to properties, physics and then you can find it physics interpolating. This way it will become a movable object using animation. Go back to Kismet Make sure that you keep hold on selecting the uh, door, then go to New Matinee. Click on Matinee. Click on New Empty Group, and then name it Doors. Then click on Right Click, and then New Movement Track. Make sure that you're still selecting the door. Then you skip a few seconds depending on how long you want the door to take on, in order to open and then let's say in this case we want it to take about 3.5 seconds you'll be fine now to enter the next frame key you, all you have to do is click enter make sure that you're selecting the door and the movement track as well then when this frame, frame key is selected this means that at the time of the frame key you will have to select what the door does. So in this case, we're going to make it go up. You can always move it wherever you want in any direction, but in this case, I'll just go up. And this should be about good like that. Then go back to matinee, and then you will just go back and make sure that it moves with it. As we can see here, it moves with the timeline. After doing that, make sure that the, the red dot ends exactly when the door opens. So just like that, we click space, it's gonna open like that. So it's pretty straightforward. Now for testing it out, we have to make sure that we attached it to the trigger make sure that we can do it unlimited times not only once this the one means that we can only do it one time so if you make zero it would be infinity then let's see you want to make sure that we don't use aim to interact we want to click E the default button to make a trigger work is E then we should be all set There we go, when we click E, the door opens. Now, if we want to make it reversed, we would have to go to Kismet, then go and click when it's completed, it will be reversed. This way, when the trigger is unused, the door should get back to being closed. So once it opens, the magnet is completed and it comes back and it closes. Now, for the next thing, we're gonna take a look at the camera. You see some games when you click on something a whole entire scene will appear. In order to do so I have made a camera. This camera in order to get it you would have to go to the content browser, click on scene or actor classes and then select camera. Then all you have to do is click add camera after here. 
while it's selected. Let me delete this one. And then in order to position the camera perfectly, all you have to do is just select the eye button, click on the camera, and now you see what the camera sees. So let's position it about right here and uncheck the eye. And now the camera is set to look at that point. Now to attach the trigger with the camera, we would have to go to Kismet again and make a new matinee. Open it up. Now we're going to make a director group and we're going to make a new camera group. Call it camera one. Then, making sure that the camera is still selected. In this case, we didn't select it, so we're going to have to redo this. New camera group, camera one. And then it's selected. We're going to go to the eye tool and then the door closes about 3.5 so we're going to end it at 3 and then all we have to do is move the camera at that point to where we want it to be. So in this case let's put it about right here. Then we can assign that the director group is to assign the screen to go from the player camera to the actual camera that we created so all you have to do is just go back to the beginning make sure you select it click enter click on camera one and then make sure that you end it at 3.5 where the door closes and then you can exit out and it should be able to work if we attach it. In this case we want to make sure that we create a new trigger so that the camera only works once. After that we don't want it to go and uh, and move itself wherever it wants. So to do that create true trigger while it's used. Attach it make sure aim interact is off and then want one use only close out and it should give you this effect that you want now the next thing we're going to learn is how to create enemies to do so let's go over here and let's create a path node. A path node is a point that would you would assign in order to uh, create a spawn point or any path that you would need to use in, uh, in the game for any object. Click on add actor, click on path node. You might notice that it says bat size. To fix that all you have to do is just go up and it'll fix itself. It just it's positioned incorrectly that's all. Now once we do that, we go to Kismet, then we create new actor actor factory, move that around, and new object using path node two. In case in this case it's gonna be one for you, or probably zero. Then attach it to the spawn point because this is the point where we want the enemy to spawn at. Then all we have to do is click on Actor Factory, assign that the enemy is going to be spawned there, so it's UT Actor Factory AI. Click on Force Deathmatch so it can actually fight with us. Use Compartment. Give it the default inventory so that it can have a weapon. Then you can select how, much, how many times it actually spawns. In this case we want about five maybe or actually let's just make it one for now then we'll see what happens after then in order to uh, decide when the actor spawns we're gonna have to make new event as we did before level loaded you can also notice that we can use any triggers here in order to um, to assign when the actor spawns 
So I'll level load invisible, connect it to spawn actor, and then we should be all set. You might notice that it says fail to spawn at the node. Oh, we forgot to click make sure that it's on UT pawn so that it can actually spawn. Then it should work. Alright, we have the first enemy. We're gonna try to fire us off. Now, if we wanna make more enemies, all we have to do is add the count to make it about, let's say, five. Then exit out. You might notice that you have an error. This is because the spawn is um, the players are spawning on each other so well, to fix that all you have to do is maybe bring it up. That's why you see some games putting the spawn point at the top that you, now you understand why this happens. And then and that's how you fix that. Thank you guys for watching. Subscribe to stay tuned for part 4. And I will see you next time. Peace.